Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. Direction or speed? Two factors needed to get somewhere fast. Do you believe direction is as important as speed, more important than speed, or less important than speed? Is one better or more necessary than the other? Before I share my thoughts, I want to define both terms. According to the Oxford Dictionary, direction is a course along which someone or something moves. In question form, direction would be, where do you want to go? Or which way do you want to go? Speed is the rate at which something or someone is able to move or operate. The question for speed is, how fast can you or do you want to get there? In life, I think both direction and speed are needed interchangeably. But in most cases, you have to know where you're going first before you can determine how fast you can get there. So if a choice had to be made, in most cases, direction is more important than speed, in my opinion. Because many are going fast in the wrong direction or are going nowhere fast. John Banda is quoted as saying, a person moving slowly in the right direction is far better than one moving at a high speed in a totally wrong direction. So speed doesn't help you when your compass is misguided or wrong. But because we live in a microwave, fast food, competitive society, especially in America, we tend to culturally reward or applause speed as the main goal. The reason I believe direction should be the main goal is direction is related to and in some cases synonymous with purpose. And purpose dictates other factors, such as the rate of speed needed to reach the goal. Direction and purpose beg the questions, where are you going? Do you have a strategy to get there? Or are you just moving fast? There's a scripture, 2 Timothy 4, 7, that says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Life in a way is a race and you can't always move at a slower pace. Sometimes it is necessary to get the job done quickly. All I'm saying is make sure you first understand purpose, what you have to do, where you're trying to go. Understand that first because purpose will lead you to the best pathway to get there. Once you know where you need to go, you can determine the necessary rate of speed to get the job done. Because 2 Timothy 4, 7 is saying that it is just as important that you do the assignment well as it is that you get to the finish line. Speed's only aim is to get you quickly to the finish line. Direction will ensure you take the best route to get there. I'm thinking of the Diana Ross song lyrics. Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? If you're like me and you remember that song, you were literally hearing that song in your head as I recited the lyrics. There's a quote, direction is more important than speed. We are so busy looking at our speedometers that we forget the milestone. There's another quote referencing a turtle. Your speed doesn't matter. Forward is forward. And another quote, going slow is better than getting lost. I thought this quote was kind of funny, but, but true in some cases. Have you ever been driving in your car and another car raced past you only to, for both of you to end up at the same stoplight? That has happened to me. And when that has happened to me, I tried hard, really hard to not look over at the car that had raced past me with a smile or a smirk because speed did not give that person an advantage over me in any way. Speed without direction and strategy, strategy ultimately doesn't serve your best interests. Now, in a time race, speed is obviously a major factor because the person who reaches the finish line 
becomes the winner. The person who reaches the finish line first becomes the winner. However, even in a timed race, you need to know where the finish line is and how to get there, right? So direction is more important than speed, though sometimes both are needed. What I'm, I'm trying to convey is the significance of purpose for everything you do. Start with your why and your what. The answer to the purpose questions will lead you to the answer to the direction question, which way? The answer to the direction question will give you the answer to the speed question, how fast? If you don't let your direction determine your speed, you'll risk ending up at the same stoplight as the person you sped past. Both of you arrived at the same destination, but you used more gas to get there. I'm telling you, don't waste your gas. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates, released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.